Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking logo reveal using Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So here we are in Illustrator. So the first thing that we need to do is we just need to come over here, grab the line segment tool. I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to hold shift to make sure that I'm drawing a straight line. Then what I need to do is I need to come over here, grab the selection tool and I'm just going to hold option or alt on a computer. I'm just going to draw it out probably around about say 30 pixels. It doesn't have to be that accurate just as long as you get like a good spacing between them. Now what I need to do is I need to duplicate it six more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now to duplicate, you can press command or control D and then you can get all your lines like that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come and grab the ellipse tool and we need to draw a ellipse. So I'm just going to hold shift, make sure that the circle hits on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press command C to copy it. And then I'm going to go to edit, paste in place. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the selection tool and then I'm going to hold shift and option to scale my circle down and I'm going to repeat the process again. So command C to copy and then edit paste in place and then I'm going to drag it from this side, hold shift and then I'm going to hold option and it will bring it to that side as well. And then we'll do it one more time. So edit, paste in place, then we'll just hold shift and option and there we go. So now what we need to do is we need to highlight all of it and I'm just going to rotate it say 45 degrees. So I'm going to hold shift and there we have our base for our circle. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here to the shape builder tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the fill to let's say black and then I'm going to start to fill it in. So I'm going to just make sure that I skip one set of lines and then go down throughout the circle. And if you've done that correctly, then you will be left with this shape. So now all you have to do is just delete the last part of the shape. And all you have to do is just save this as an Illustrator file and then we'll take it to After Effects. Cool. So now we're in After Effects. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels would be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. Just press OK. Once we've got that, we need to import our logo that we've just created. So right click and go import. Cool. So now that I've imported my logo, I'm just going to drag it down. Now we can't see it. So I'm going to search for an effect called fill and I'm just going to change that to white. While I'm here, I'm just going to press S for scale and I'm just going to scale it up just so it fits something like that on my screen. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that layer, go to layer, pre-compose and I'm just going to call that logo. Make sure that I move all the attributes into the new composition. Cool. So now I have one pre-comp with my logo in there and that's looking pretty good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add a few effects. So the first effect that I'm going to add is the gradient ramp. So I'm just going to choose two colors from color hunt. And I'm going to be going with this dark purple and this light color over here. The next thing that I need to do is I'm going to search for another effect, which is called bevel alpha. And I'm just going to increase the edge thickness to about six and the light intensity to about one. Now that gives it that 3D kind of look. And I think that looks pretty good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to search for an effect called CC uh, light sweep. And what we're going to do is we are going to animate that light sweep. So, but before we do that, we're just going to increase the width to about 85 and we're just going to increase the intensity to about 50. And then I'm going to make sure that that light sweep is off the logo make sure that I'm at the start of my composition click that stopwatch for center move to about six seconds and then move it off the screen so now if you've done that correctly now you will have this light sweep going through your actual logo and that's looking pretty good so once we've got that the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that layer so i'm going to press command d to duplicate that layer i'm going to rename that layer to vegas 
I'm going to press Command A to highlight all of those effects, delete them, and then I'm gonna put the effect Vegas in there. So I'm just gonna take off the eye from the bottom logo for a second, just so that we can focus on this part. I'm gonna change the segments to one. I'm gonna change the blend mode to transparent. I'm gonna change the width to let's say maybe five or six. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the midpoint opacity to negative 0.02, and I'm gonna change the midpoint position to zero. So now if you've done that, you should have an outline of your logo. So I'm just gonna change the color to white. So now we need to animate that. So we're gonna animate that with the length and the rotation. So I'm just gonna press U on my keyboard to bring up those keyframes. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to start with the length at zero. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to about two seconds and then I'm going to increase the length back up to 100. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move to about, let's say five seconds and I'm gonna increase the rotation to let's say three. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have this cool kind of logo reveal. So now what we need to do is we need to easy ease these keyframes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of those keyframes, come up to animation, go to keyframe assistant. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to easy ease in. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will have a little bit faster at the start for your logo reveal and then it kind of comes to a stop at the bottom. So if you want to try and adjust any of these keyframes, you can. I think I'll just uh, increase the size of that rotation. But once you're happy with it, we can move to the next step. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some glow to brighten up the, the composition. So the first time we add glow looks pretty cool, but if we duplicate it again by pressing Command D, we're gonna change a few settings. So we're gonna change the glow radius to about 40, and we're gonna drop down that intensity to let's say 0.8. And then we're gonna duplicate it again, and we're gonna change the glow radius to 100, and we're gonna bring down the intensity to 0.5. Now that's looking pretty cool, but the last effect that we'll add in here is CC Radial Fast Blur. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the amount to let's say about 12, and I'm just gonna change it to brightest. And so now we've got this cool looking logo reveal. Cool. So now we need to merge those two layers together. So I'm just gonna turn the eye back on for my logo layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight both those layers. I'm gonna press T4 opacity. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch for both of them. I'm gonna move forward in time to about two seconds and I'm gonna set the logo opacity to zero. And I'm actually going to delete that keyframe at the front because we don't need it. So the majority of this, you know, kind of intro section over here is to reveal that logo, which is going to come in about here. So we'll go to about four seconds. And then what we are going to do is we are going to change the Vegas opacity to zero. And we're gonna change the logo opacity to 100. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will see that the Vegas is coming in and then it reveals the logo like that. And that's looking pretty cool, but we're gonna make that a little bit better. So we're gonna highlight all of those uh, keyframes. We're gonna go to keyframe assistant and we're just gonna go to easy ease again. So now we'll have the animation come in and then we'll have the logo kind of reveal with that light sweep and that's looking pretty cool. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here to the Vegas effect and we are going to duplicate it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the mode to add and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the color. So I'm just back in Color Hunt and I'm just gonna choose some of these colors to put in. So once you've done that once, the next time we are going to do the same thing again, we're gonna duplicate that Vegas layer we're gonna to go to color hunt and we're just gonna paste that color in. And then we're gonna do it one final time. Cool, so now I have three different colors that are kind of coming in together to give that kind of cool glow look. And 
now it reveals that logo. So the next thing that we need to do here is we need to pre-compose all of these layers. So I'm gonna right click and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it logo final. And now what we need to do is we need to create a background. So I'm gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna call it BG. And then I'm gonna put it underneath my logo layer. I'm gonna create another new solid and I'm gonna call this uh, dots. And this time I'm gonna use the fill effect and I'm gonna make sure that it's white. So now the next effect that we're gonna put in here is called CC ball action. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down to the spacing and increase that to about seven. I'm gonna bring the ball size to about, let's say 20. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for another effect which is called roughen edges. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna bring down the border to about four. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and hold option and click on the evolution settings. And then I'm gonna write time times 100. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will see that little bit of movement in the background and that's looking pretty cool. So you can play around with some of these settings. For example, if you bring up the ball size, you know, to maybe 19 or you increase this, you can see what's actually happening. You can change some of the settings there. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we just need to add a bit of a drop shadow to the logo so i'm just going to come over here add some drop shadow now you can do any kind of drop shadow that you like um, maybe we'll increase the softness to about 50 and maybe we'll just increase the distance a little bit as well so cool so that's about it for this tutorial um, i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time